Okay, so today we are going to be working on the faceplate for an Olympus CLV-160 using our Restorite product. As you can see, it is very yellow. Uh, this was actually the original color, and the reason that that maintained its original color was there was a bezel that clipped in over top of that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mask off the control panel section here. And I typically just use clear packing tape and go right over top of it. And the reason for that is we don't want the moisture from the compound to actually get into the plastic here. So then we're just going to trace this out really quickly. And what we'll do is we'll just mask that off. And then we'll peel this off. And then we will get into the application process. Now on this particular piece, what I really want to do is be able to show a side-by-side -side comparison. And with that side-by-side -side comparison, what I'm talking about is we're not going to treat the whole faceplate. We are only going to treat a small portion of the faceplate so that we can do side by side and see what it looked like before versus what it looks like after the treatment. So now we're just going to peel off where we trimmed out. And the great thing about this product is there's no scrubbing involved. There is also no bleach uh, and acetone. So it doesn't affect the integrity of the plastic. It doesn't make it weak or brittle. And it also won't do anything to our lettering here as well. So, in order to do this properly, we're just going to do a small portion. And I'm going to mask off half. And we're going to use a little piece of this surgical drape just to shade it from the uh, UV light that we're going to use that acts as a catalyst. We're going to wrap that off and then we will take a piece of tape and we will seal it off. And the reason we're doing it this way is um, just because if the material soaks into the drape or the masking um, you'll actually see some lightning and transition so by covering it up and sealing it with the tape hopefully we will avoid any of this uh, soaking into this portion and lightening it up and we'll be able to get a good side-by-side -side comparison so that is that and now we are going to take our compound we are going to apply this fairly liberally. You, know, you can either use a spray or you can dab it on. Um, but you can put it on pretty thick. Um, it doesn't affect the lettering. You may want to use gloves. It does uh, if you get it on your bare skin provide a little bit of a mild chemical burn but it's basically the equivalent of going and getting a chemical peel at the spa uh, however I would not suggest using it for that I'm just happen to be used to the product and so I'm not overly concerned you wash your hands apply some hand lotion to rehydrate your hands and you are in good shape so that is pretty much our application process at this point. And you can see where it's kind of thick yet opaque at the same time. And what we're going to use is a 20 watt UV black light. And we will just put this over top of it. And we'll put it directly underneath of it. 
and then we can leave that on overnight. Uh, sunlight actually works better and a lot faster. So for these purposes, we're going to try using the UV black light and come back in the morning and see what our results are. Okay, so we're back, and we are going to go ahead and turn off the light, and I'm just going to just wet down a paper towel real quick just so we can see quickly how well the results are. I'll wipe this off. rinse it off better later. This is more just to see how much of a difference we make. And then we're going to take the mask off. And so here we are. And we're looking at the before and after. And if you look right here around the edge, you know, you can still see just about one shade in color difference. But compared from here to here, you know, we are almost back to the true original color. So the total prep time that you're looking at for one piece about this size, maybe, you know, four or five minutes. And then to uh, actually clean it off and get it ready to put back on the piece is going to be about another four or five minutes. So we'll do a nice before and after. I guess we don't have to do a before and after. You can see it there. So that's pretty much it. That's Restorite. And have a great day, and thanks for viewing.